Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about arithmetic operators in dart and also we are going to see how to add two numbers in dart programming language we are going to see all these operators that is addition of two numbers subtraction and then we have something called as unary minus and then multiplication of two numbers division of two numbers and then divide returning an integer result that is the quotient guys by default when you divide two numbers in dart you get a floating number in return but instead if you want the integer value you can use this operator in order to get the quotient of the division and then we are going to see how to use the remainder operator and then increment and decrement operators as well so let us now move to our examples let's say we have the main function defined over here we have a variable a and we assign it a value as 20 and then we have another variable as b and let us assign the value as 10 so the very first operator that is addition what we are going to do is we are going to have another variable c which is equal to a plus b and then let's print this value with a string that is the sum of a and b is and then we want to display the value of c which is the sum of a and b semicolon let's save this file and try running this so i open the cmd that is command prompt and then as i told you before we are going to use the dart keyword and then the name of the program that is dart underscore program dot dart so this is the way we run our dart codes let's press on enter so as you can see the sum of a and b is 30 which means a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 10 and the sum is 30 and in this way you can add two numbers similarly guys if you want to subtract two numbers so let's say if i put a minus b we are going to use the minus operator here in this case and then we are going to change the string to the difference of a and b is c let's save this file and run this code so it has given us the difference of a and b is 10 that is 20 minus 10 and then if we want to multiply these numbers so we just change this sign to multiplication and we change this string the multiplication of a and b is dollar c let's run this code so it is 20 multiplied by 10 which is 200 so the multiplication of a and b is 200 and then the next operator we have is divide so in this example what i'm going to show you is let's say we change the value of b to 12 and then we want to divide a divided by b so this is the sign that we use and then we change this string the division of a and b is dollar c let's save this file and run this code so guys as you can see it is returning us the floating number that is 1.66 okay so that means it is 20 divided by 12 it is giving us a floating number but in case let's say even if the result is an integer let's say if we divide 20 divided by 10 so what will happen let's run this code still it is returning us a floating number so by default the division operator will result in a floating number that is 2.0 we are getting but instead if we want just an integer value to be returned so what we can do is we can use this operator as you can see followed by a forward slash let's save this file and run this code so this will give us the quotient that is without the floating number that means the integer value of the result okay another example will say let's say if we change this value of b back to 12 let's save this and run this code so as you can see the answer is 1 that is 20 divided by 12 will give us the quotient as 1 and then if we want to get the remainder of this division what we will do is we will change this value to percent sign in order to get the remainder and then we change this the remainder of a and b is dollar c let's save this code and run this file so as you can see 20 divided by 12 will give us the quotient as 1 but the remainder will be 8 that is the difference between 12 and 20 and in this way you can find the remainder easily in dart programming language guys another two important operators over here are increment and decrement so 
these are nothing but these will increase or decrease the value of a variable by 1. So let's take for an example, let's say we have the value of b as 12 and we want to increment this value. So what we will do is we will just put b plus plus. We just want to increment the value by 1. So we do b plus plus and let us now change the statement the increment value of b is dollar $b. So we are going to display the value of b over here. So guys remember this value is 12 over here and then after incrementing let's see what the result is. We will run this code. As you can see the increment value of b is 13. So in the value of b initially it was 12 so 1 was added so the result is 13. Let us now see the decrement value as well. So when we do b minus minus currently the value is 12 so 1 should get subtracted from the value of b. So let us try running this code. So as you can see the value of b after decrementing is 12 minus 1 which is equal to 11. And in this way we can use increment and decrement values very easily. Guys there is another way you can mention these operators. So over here instead of doing b minus minus you can do minus minus b as well or plus plus b as well. So let us try doing a plus plus b and then save this and run this code. So as you can see it is 13 so 12 plus 1 it is equal to 13 so either way you can either do b plus plus or plus plus b it will return the same thing but guys it has a importance so what i will do is instead of mentioning b plus plus over here what i will do is i want to increment in this statement that is the print statement so let us see if this is allowed so i am doing b plus plus over here so let us see what the value is after printing this so as you can see the increment has not happened the increment value of b is 12 it is still printing the value of b this is because guys the operation on this b variable it will happen only after the execution of this statement so if you want to print the latest value of b let's say if i want to print another statement the latest value of b is dollar b and then save this run this code so as you can see initially the increment value of b is 12 this is because this operation has not completed yet during the printing of this statement but after the statement is printed the value of b will be incremented by 1 and then in the next statement onwards you will get the latest value of b so the latest value of b is 13 over here but in case if you want the incremented value of b to be printed in the first statement itself what you can use is instead of doing b plus plus you can do plus plus b and then save this and run this code so as you can see the increment value of b is 13 the latest value of b is 13 this means that in the first print statement over here the plus plus b operation was completed successfully and then that value that is the latest value of b was taken in the print statement and guys this is the difference between plus plus b and b plus plus if you are using them in a print statement but if you are not using them in a print statement it doesn't matter whether you do b plus plus or plus plus b in a single line it will have the same meaning so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get notifications on upcoming videos as well guys the next video that we are going to talk about is conditional if else statement in dart programming language so stay tuned